I'm going to do an unboxing of this EVGA 500 watt power supply that I got on a new IG for $30. And the reason why I got it was um, I got one of those new AMD motherboards uh, that support the AM3 Plus chip. And those chips apparently, may, maybe it's the same with other modern motherboards that it actually has the 8 pin CPU plug. Uh, for the uh, CPU power. So even though I had a 600 watt older kind of uh, ATX power supply with all the SATA cables and then your standard ATX um, 20 by 24 pin uh, connector to the motherboard, I guess some of the newer motherboards need more power and has like special plugs. So I actually had to get another power supply here so I just wanted to go through all the different plugs that it has uh, so let me go ahead and I'm gonna open this and Has this whatever sticker here? It's kind of annoying. Um, the warranty sticker. This does have a three-year warranty on it. And again, I bought this on Newegg for thirty dollars, which is a good deal. So. Right, so I'm going to open this, and there's your manual. Not much of a manual here, but... Uh, just go through and tells you how many connectors you can have on it. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but just, just in case you need that information. All right, so let me go to the power supply now. And uh, let's see, how's this stored? So it has a pretty huge fan here. And it has, I guess, those ratings and specs and all of those things. Let me go back to this later. Alright, so I'm going to go back to that later show you what else is in the box, you know, your power cable. Looks kind of short, but I suppose sometimes you don't need that long of a power, uh, power cable. Looks like it's about three feet. And then it does have the four screws to mount to your motherboard. And they're nicely painted in black, as you'll notice. All right, so let me go back to this power supply. Again, here's the top fan, and um, whatever printing uh, it has on the side. On the bottom, nothing really on the bottom. Alright, now let me go through each one of these plugs. So, so here's the main one, here's your 
10 uh, 20 by 24 pin here's the 4 pin and then here's another 4 pin so that's what I need I needed the one with the 8 so here's the one with the 8 for my AMD I mean AMD uh, FX CPU but on the motherboard there's that 8 pin so this is what this is for for the CPU for the AM3 motherboards and probably I would imagine probably for some of the Intel ones it does have these Molex and then I'm trying to count the number there are but but you could probably get the specs on Newegg you know the count of how many there is mm -hmm. But I'm going to slowly try to rotate and go through, so you, I believe there are six SATA connectors. Which is what most people want these days, not those Molex ones. But you, you could always get an adapter for any one of these. But it would just be nice sometimes to just have the SATA ones. So there was already two SATA ones on that side. And you'll see here's another one, and another one, and another one here, and another one here. And then here's the PCI, um, I guess 8 slash 6 is what they call it. I've never had a need for these. I suppose for some high-end video cards you actually need it to power it. And then here's another PCI power if you ever need it. Um, but again, what, what I was more concerned about was basically the CPU one that you see here. That's the 4 plus 4. So, but, but it, it was good for me to just go get a new power supply instead of what a lot of people suggest on forums which is to just put the 4 if you don't have a 4 plus 4 or an 8 pin to actually just stick in the 4 pin at the top and it should power your CPU without if you do not overclock and uh, personally I rather not do that I rather just spend thirty dollars on a new power supply and actually have the proper power supplied to the CPU um, and there's wires in here and it's nicely sleeved so it's not like all over the place so you'll see there's this nylon stuff around the wires which is great so this is pretty high quality stuff here uh, for a cheap price um, so once again this is the power supply uh, thank you for watching